Welcome back to the European War 6 Cavalier talking about. Cav, I always go for short. So last we left off, we know Blucher is a good Primer General to get out of these three, but if you don't have the money, where do you go? So I'll be t showing you where. Let's see if... So what is your Devad vs. Malak? Let me just pull up his skills quickly. So 63 battle ability and a 46 cavalry abilities. 50% of basic basic attack, 11% cavalier. Extra damage is 24%. Extra HP is 35. I see his skills will compare our uh, right now comp comparing his skills uh what I'm doing to the Melak Marat ah great so between these two generals he leads in Devad leads in Marak almost in everything except for extra HP they both lead in it so we're going to go to our skills. So they both have a free percent to strike. And let's see what else they share. That's a bit about it. Station, 40% for cavalry fight in the city. Edge, 5 extra damage, attack and infantry. You upgrade that, that'll be a little stronger. Increased critical strike, 7%, tactical master. When you kill enemy, you have a chance to attack him again. So here, this is a skill Blucher has. Some extra of HP when you're attacking units. So between these two generals, I think maybe this one, Devon will be a little more better with his skills. But on the other side, a cav commander, a little more extra damage. So what I do, I want to test it out. Eighteen twelve. Let me just find a quick general. We won't be using his example since his HP is too strong. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put him first. Attack Poland. So 4667, the damage he can do. So when I restart it, I'm going to put another general on it. And we to attack Poland again. So pretty weak, not that strong, but that's when you're attacking a city. So now I'm going to go attack a unit on open land. So let's pick the mission. So I'm gonna put the VOD first. So 
So 73 damage. Now I want to bring him up. Eighty. His skill has a little more damage. Plane fighting, he has fifty percent more damage, so so that's pretty useful. When comparison between these two generals, you always have to look at the skill wise. Because more metals, general doesn't mean the best. If a general has like inf inf infantry master, or like plain fighting with that skill, you can do you can soak up a ton of damage. So I want to use this that general for challenges as a quick example. Sixty six is pretty low. And the final, we'll be using Blucher to end the video. I didn't test him in the last video, so we'll put him on. And let him charge the field. Hundred and three damage. Due to his skills. Plain fighting and cavalry commander. He has a very high stance of doing damage. And that's right about it. It's talking about the Cav Generals. So in my mind, between these two, if you if you plan on fighting mostly in open field, go for this general here. If you mostly plan on using your general to take buildings or fortifications, you mostly gonna go for this one here. So you can't go wrong between these two. They both are pretty useful. This general here, if you have the money, if you can't afford them, you can make use of this general, upgrading his skills, and some equipment to make him a little more better. And that's all for today's video for European War 6. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Have a great day.